My name is Dr. Kevin Layden. I am a uh, physician specializing in pain medicine and physical medicine rehabilitation. I've been practicing here in Phoenix, Arizona since 1992. And uh, my practice is primarily devoted to musculoskeletal medicine and uh, spinal procedures. When I trained uh, 20 some years ago, ultrasound was not being utilized for therapeutic injections. And we, we used our knowledge of anatomy to kind of guide our needle to the right location. Uh, not realizing, of course, um, that anatomies vary between patients. That was kind of a primitive technique. It was the technique that most physicians were using because that's how we were all trained. With the use of ultrasound, there's no question about the fact that outcomes are much better. And where ultrasound uh, imaging guidance really helps us is to enable us to uh, actually penetrate into the bursa and actually see the tip of the needle entering the bursa. And then as we inject, we're still viewing this on ultrasound, as we inject the material that we're injecting, we can actually see that hydrodissect the tissue plane and enter into the bursa and we can see it fill up with that fluid. So we have that advantage and it's, it's really changed the way I practice uh, tremendously. And my name is Gary Dilla and I'm a specialist in physical medicine and rehabilitation here in Phoenix, Arizona um, with a subspecialty in pain medicine. What we have been able to do is increase the volume of patients that we're able to treat ourselves now that as little as five years ago, we were actually referring out to other physicians to perform injection therapy. One of the classic, essentially benign type of procedures that physical medicine doctors have done over the years was called trigger point injections. In the past, when we would do these injections blindly, we would always be fearful about placing the needle too deep into the tissue and possibly penetrating into areas that we don't want to go, for example, the lung. So with the use of ultrasound, we're able to see the lung, see the pleural space. We're able to guide the tip of the needle as deeply as possible. And in that way, we're able to really more effectively treat the trigger point that we're trying to treat. I've taken courses both in basic ultrasound imaging as well as on uh, ultrasound guided injections. So once you learn the, uh, the anatomy and what you're seeing on, on the ultrasound image itself, the next step is understanding how to use it for guiding needles to their location. We found that the resources that we were provided uh, through BK were excellent. Uh, we had access to a number of in-services where uh, individuals from BK actually came into our office and uh, demonstrated how the product operates and certainly that's a big part of it. You know, if, you, if you aren't comfortable doing that, it doesn't matter how good you are with the actual probe and visualizing what you're seeing on the screen, but you need to understand how the product works and how to set up all the, uh, uh, the patient information and so on in the machine and how to use the buttons and the knobs and so on properly. We had various uh, companies and suppliers come in and show us their products and it actually became pretty obvious to us after looking at three or four different things that uh, the, the BK Medical product that we eventually chose was far superior to the others. Just in ease of use, portability, uh, just quality of the pictures. When you took all those factors into account, the choice was made pretty easy for us and it really didn't take much in the way of discussion between my partner and I as to what, the, what, what device we were going to go with. But also the pricing. The price point was ideal for our practice. We have a small practice. We're not a large clinic and we were not willing to compromise quality of the product. One of the other vendors had a smaller, more portable laptop type of device. We just didn't see as much on those portable devices as we did on the, what I like to call the standalone devices. It's got a two-fold benefit for us. From a physician standpoint, we've got better visualization of what we're doing. And from a patient standpoint, they're more relaxed, they're more comfortable, and I think you combine those two and it explains why we're seeing folks getting better relief and longer lasting relief with procedures now.